Welcome to another video from JJ Model Making, this time a build of the USS Hopper DDG-70. The Hopper is a Flight 1 Arleigh Burke class destroyer in operation with the United States Navy and was launched back in 1997. This kit is made by Trumpeter Models from China and produced in 1-350 scale, consistent with other modern Navy kits. So in scale with aircraft carriers such as the now X USS Enterprise and Nimitz class, and modern, more modern littorial class ships such as the Freedom and Independence. Being a destroyer, the Hopper is larger than the Independence class, but smaller than a Ticonderoga class cruiser. Before getting too far along, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to see future videos, especially if you're a fan of scale model warships. This particular kit can be displayed as either a full hull or waterline, though thankfully the main hull comes in a single piece. One of the reasons why I chose this particular kit is that it comes with a significant amount of photo etched parts split across three frets. Construction begins with the superstructure, divided into two sections, the forward half containing the ship's bridge, plus the command and control sections and smokestack, and the half containing the second smokestack. With the basic hull and superstructure complete, I went on to spray the hull with Tamiya XF-19 Sky Grey and the deck IGN Grey and the low hull with hull red. At this point I did stop to work on the hopper for some time, but I did use it as the basis for my photo etch tutorial, so if you haven't already seen this, check it out by clicking on the link in the card above. After a six month hiatus, I was inspired by fellow modellers on my JJ Model Making Facebook page and group, see the links below, and took the hopper down from the shelf, dusted her off and got back into the build. Slowly but surely, detailed parts were added, including the smokestack, weapon emplacements and so forth got added, eventually moving on to all that lovely photo etch. Once I was finished, a few spots here and there were touched up with paint, and then the entire model was sprayed with AK Interactive Gloss Varnish ahead of the application of the decals. It is a small but important step for me when the model ship finally gets its registry number for the first time. After another coat of gloss, the weathering began. I use exactly the same technique as per my weathering tutorial, so again, click on the card above if you haven't already seen it. With all the weathering now complete, I moved on to the final matte coat of AK Interactive Varnish and the gluing the props in place. At this point, I call the hopper complete. It was a great model to build and despite a long gap in between, it goes together really well and with the addition of all that lovely photo wedge, at £45 this is actually pretty good value for money. I'm currently working on completing the USS Spruance and about halfway through the USS Freedom, links to the unboxings of which can be found in the description below. After that, it's back onto the main event, the USS Nimitz 2027. Thanks for watching, subscribe today if you'd like to see the progress on the upcoming builds, especially the Nimitz.